What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of this week's I fucked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Unreal NT Gaming. <sighs> uh, oh, no, because <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm not aging, my friend. All right, ready? And <sighs> what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of this week's Roundtable Podcast. I am your host, Unreal ENT Gaming, alongside the Cod Brothers Gaming three man broadcast, Notorious Blaze and Ralph <sighs> from the Netherlands. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? How's How everybody? Dare you? Your How money. dare you call someone Ralph? Actually, oh, oh don't don't talk because you remind me of Johnny from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You remind oh. me of Ed, the short motherfucker who thinks knows everything. Exactly. Oh, no, are, he, are, he's are the Ed, like Ed? post. All right. First of all, just by calling somebody Johnny is like the biggest insult in the world because you talk to a piece of wood. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you talk to a piece of wood, and everybody knows that you talk to wood because you actually, talk to AJ. So actually, I don't think Johnny is that crazy anymore. Yes, he is. How is he not? Because I actually watched a video the other day, and they compared Johnny to, like, religious people. No. <laughs> so that makes him normal? Yeah, because he was like, so, if he has an imaginary friend in the piece of wood, what do all the religious people have a friend in? Oh, yeah. You fucking die, and you find out what happens. You're like, I'm so sorry. What? That's the thing. Imagine Plank was a god. That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I saw. I read that shit. I was like, what? Where, where's Dave? Is he hunting squirrels in his yard? I thought yeah, you had to go get something to drink. drink. He oh, oh yeah, he, he had to go drink some raccoon piss. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what tea oh is God. nowadays. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, Ralph, what do you have to drink in the Netherlands? Huh? What, reindeer piss? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I mean, he lives close to the North Pole, so I believe that he, he probably goes out hunting for fucking Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's piss. Are you getting a call from me, Colin? Oh, he's talking to Tyler, his, his boyfriend. Anyways, guys, uh, so how's everybody's day? Paul, you just woke up, didn't you? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, long, long night, wasn't it? Yeah. What did you do all night? That's my question. He's like making his beef. You see, when when you get Skyrim again on PC, the, the hours just go by. Is I, that what I, you're I would doing be, playing yeah. Skyrim? The game is so you, freaking did, addicting. Did you get all the ne- DLC what? for it? Yeah, I have all the DLC and everything. And the all thing right. is, I, I never beat the game. Honestly, it, there's so much. Oh, yeah, that's not a surprise. I never beat. All right, wait. You can't Alex, talk, you Alex. Never, you can't I, 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 Alex. You, shut up. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> one of the good games that you probably have played is Fallout, and you never completed Whoa, Fallout wait, 3. Wait, 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 wait. Fallout, never. Fallout. That that was a long time ago, my friend. You never even. And did you still Assassin's never completed Creed. it. Fallout. I, I do not want to speak on Fallout. That 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 was just a. It was a very long time ago. This man exited the vault and couldn't find Megaton, which was right in front of him. Hey, that happened to me when I first played too. <laughs> Yes, I'm not the only one. Thank you. I but wish then, I could just go to your house and just get you. Paul, oh, Paul, did you finish the game, yeah. though? That's the thing. Yeah, eventually I finished the game, but when See? I first got I was like, this game is a shit game. Where the fuck do I go? Where, where exactly. the fuck do I go? I, I pretty much gave up when I was started, like, I started fighting, like, these mutant cockroaches and shit, so I was like, well, <laughs> fuck this shit. But anyway, shit speaking up. of mutant cockroaches, who saw the new Godzilla trailer? I did. So, that was a weird segue. Any, any thoughts on that, or what? Yeah, that was... I mean, I think it's going to be a major upgrade from that last movie, of course, but, you know. All right, so I'm, I'm going to start off with you. So what what did you like about the trailer? Like, a- any anything in particular that you found very interesting? Or, like, like are you going to go see the movie and stuff like that? Like, um, hmm. Eh. Are you I mean, really, are you I thought really it was cool how they made it, like, creepy looking. And then, you know, it just... What? I thought it was good. Anyways, yeah, I think that uh, I might end up going to watch that. You they might. Not no, no, bitch. You better. Did you not see the scale and magnitude to that? Eh, I'll yeah. wait for it to come. You out can compare you, it to King Kong. Well, I, I'm not even gonna address Dave because Notorious Blaze has an opportunity to go see movies for free, and he doesn't take up the offer. So I, I really don't understand why somebody would not want to go to the movies with his friends. It's Dave, who's Dave gonna go with? Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, oh. <laughs> shut to a face on. Oh. Well, all right, so so Paul, what are I got a sock. On? <laughs> I put my hand in the stock and talk. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and you call me Johnny. Look at him talking. <laughs> oh, he's the new Johnny. He talks to socks. Yeah. All right. So, what about you, Paulie? What are your thoughts on the trailer? That shit looked freaking epic. Um, I, I heard that they're gonna be more than one enemy for him to fight. Like, like in um, in terms of monsters. Oh yeah. And do you know what? You want to know what it is? One's um, a scorpion. So, all right, supposedly, all right. I, I remember seeing one of your posts talking about how you wish that the story's not gonna revolve around humans. Well, 
sad to say, do you guys remember that main character, the main actor for Kick Ass? Yeah, yeah. no, that, yeah. yeah he's, oh he's, god, he's the guy. He's the guy who's gonna play the main marine, and wow. uh, the girl that you saw hugging her daughter, whatever. That's his wife. So pretty much, the story was leaked. It's gonna go about like this, right? It's gonna go one of two ways. I don't know. I don't know which one's true, but it's either gonna be a nuclear uh, meltdown that pretty much caused a genetic, you know, modification to a lizard, or it's gonna be a human-made, genetically altered like monster, like the the humans created, whatever Godzilla. But here's the thing: there were several uh, sources going around that the next trailer is going to contain <clears throat> uh, little bits and snapshots of what seems to look like a scorpion-like monster, and and that's the thing that that's one of the monsters that was shown in the teaser trailer. Remember that big huge body that we saw and we didn't know what it was because yeah. i remember i kept asking paul like what was it I, I thought it was godzilla on the floor i was like did he get like knocked down or something paul's like no he has like multiple arms so there was a rumor that there might be a scorpion like monster is gonna fight godzilla but do you think do you guys think it's, it's, it's a good idea to have like another monster or do you think it should just be strictly godzilla versus people no another monster would be better because why wh- why is only the lizards mutating well then again, I mean, you never really know if it's a lizard or not. You don't know what Godzilla truly is. I mean, I, I, re- I remember that the, the director, he wanted to make the movie similar to the 1968 version. No comedy, no no, just pure desperation and chaos. Now, I, they also showed, like, nuclear missiles, right? Which makes no sense because Probably. how are you going to fight uh, a giant, you know, nuclear-engineered monster with a nuke? Wait, going back to what you just said. No comedy and pure desperation and chaos. Are you referring to Man of Steel? Oh, uh, here we go. There, I oh swear my, to God, yeah. there's not <sighs> one. There's not one day. Not, I swear to you guys. I talk to this kid almost every day. There's not one day that goes by in life where he does not mention or bash Superman or Microsoft. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Why don't you bash Microsoft? We can, right now, I swear to God, right this minute, we can be talking about pudding. This kid would somehow <laughs> find a loophole and try to sneak Microsoft in there. Like, so yeah, Paul, did you ever try the uh, new uh, vanilla flavor pudding? Yeah, it was pretty good pudding, but fuck Microsoft. What? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Or, or, or we could be talking about fucking, we, 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 we could talk about Christmas. So, Paul, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, well, you know, I want the new PS4. You know, just fuck Man of Steel. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Or, or we could be talking about simple things like, oh, so what level are you in Skyrim? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a level three uh, fucking Microsoft. I hate, I hate Xbox. What? <laughs> what? Wait, so so, so why, why do you say Man of Steel? Why? why? Be- because that was, that was the most overhyped movie I've ever seen in my life. Ever seen in your life? And the overhyper was you. No! <laughs> we all fucking loved it. We, me and your brothers and everybody in that theater loved it. And I swear to God, if it wasn't for, like, exits, you probably would have sat everybody down and, like, strapped them all down and converted them otherwise. Man, that's movie, exactly what your brother said. When the you movie went, was went, over, I looked to my left and right, and all I saw was a bunch of penguins. This was, like, Happy Feet 3. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry that you made no sense of the film. I mean, God forbid I go to see Godzilla with you. Well, I mean, you, you do have, you are known for being overhyped. You know, you overhyped Halo 4. And it wasn't. Halo 4 was a great game. I mean, you can't tell me the story wasn't a great game. The story, yeah. like the story was, was great. It was a follow. It was a pretty great story. I mean, I can't say the same about multiplayer. Yeah, but, but you overhyped multiplayer because that night, that's what you first did, and you were saying, "Man, this is great. This is this." You and know, this I, is this. I, 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 I were like, "Oh man, I'm so ready." I I believe that Halo Four, in my opinion, Halo 4's multiplayer is just a little better than Reach's multiplayer. Just a little. No, whoa. No. Just a little. No, just no, a little. no. 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 No, no free award. I dare you. Well, okay. Halo Three was Halo the best one by far. But yep. hey, hey, everybody's entitled to an opinion, you motherfuckers. But go, going back to Godzilla, so Dave's not going to see it. Brandon says he might. So I mean, I I really don't wait. It, it's around May time, so I might come down to Alabama and watch it with you, brother. Or, or I, I really want to go with Paul. But then again, if we see the movie and we find the movie to be good. Thank you, Paul. We might leave the fucking movie theater and Paul might get everybody home and just like, no, nah, it was bad. <laughs> no, nah, it was no. Nah. Because that, that's gonna, what he does. He's going to whip out the duct tape. <laughs> like Sean said, you know, the, okay, okay. I, I mean, but, but, um, like, did you guys know that Warner Brothers and Legendary Films parted ways? Really? Yeah, they're done. Like, the, this was like their last movie as a collaboration, so they're done. So if by any chance they were to do a sequel, it's not going to be the same people. And that's something I never understood. How come, like, companies and corporations, when they decide to make one film and it's very successful, they part ways? Would you not want to stick around and make more money and make more films? 
maybe they got into an argument and said we can make the videos better than the other guy. And then they just decided, well, okay, we'll see about that. We're just fucking you guys and then make well, your own movie. Well, what would you do? If, if, if you were the director and producer of Godzilla and you made, like, let's say $800 million off Godzilla, would you not want to continue? I mean, I'm all for collaboration. I mean, yeah, I would stay and be but, like, let's make another one. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not whoever decided to part ways like that. Maybe they were ready to part ways before this because the movie hasn't even come out yet. So it's like they don't even know how much it's going to make. They're keeping this movie a big secret. I don't know if you guys noticed. It's like we barely get any news on it. Yeah. Because they, don't, they don't want you to know. The less you know, the better for them. Well, it's it's, it's the plus, anticipation they're looking for. Well, yeah. But then again, how else are you supposed to be excited for a movie? That's like that's like what if uh, they never showed anything about the Avengers to it. They just showed one trailer and that was it. How would you feel about that? Yeah, it would, I mean, it would kind of bother me, but you, you I mean, want to see it. You'd be like, because, all right, I seen one. I I rewatched one trailer over and over again. I want to see more, but you're not going to see more because what you just said, you keep it a secret. You know, the anticipation, you know, pretty much drives you to go see it. But so, so, what are your thoughts on the movie in general? Like, do you think the movie's going to be good or no? Who are you asking? All of us? Or all just... of you? Like, do you think Godzilla's going to be worth like the money? Like, or, or or at least I should say this: Do you think the movie's going to be worth going to go see again? Nah, nah, I, think I will let you guys decide that. <laughs> I will sit back home and just relax and play some well, games. No, you were going to talk, Vern. You were going to give us an opinion. What, what, what are you going to do, Vern? Are you going to go see it? Yeah, Ash. Yeah, right. Well, watch him go <laughs> see it and watch it change answered. his life. Like, I, I, I see Vern going to the theater, putting extra raccoon-like sauce on his fucking popcorn and drinking de- reindeer piss while, <laughs> while he's what? watching Godzilla. <laughs> Cute. Hey, Baron, what are your french fries made out of? This is that um, energy. These french fries are made out of <laughs> squirrel nuts. Uh, that would be nuggets. I, I mean, <clears throat> but they, they were also talking about, well, how many of you seen Pacific Rim? I have to go to a Christmas party. None of you guys saw okay. Pacific Rim. Paul? Nope. Yeah, basically. It's not Dave? Really nope. Well, Brandon? What? Have you ever seen? <laughs> have you ever seen Pacific Rim? No, I haven't seen that. You movie. haven't seen. What's wrong with you people? What is that? The one with the giant robots? I, I heard it wasn't good. It, Ask me. No, it, it was, was good. It was with I the robots it and the Caillou. I wasn't worried about it. It's not Caillous. It's Kaiju's. <laughs> Caillous. Real Steel was a better movie than that, and they use robots. I mean, come on now. But you didn't even see the film. I don't need to see the film. It was bad. Why How was it bad? bad? It was a great film. I mean, the, the Jaegers uh, battling the Kaijus and the Kaijus was ripping them a new asshole in freaking category one, two, three level. It just sounds fucking. like you just mixed alcohol together. For real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, so, I'm so serious. I mean, so, so you're saying Pacific Rim is an embodiment of alcohol? That's what it just sounded like. You have yeah. Jaeger and then you whatever else you said, there might be something out there like that. That's exactly what country. I thought. Yeah, I swear to God. Yeah, I, I understand what you guys are saying, but the, the, the robots are called Jaegers and they're fighting Kaijus. <laughs> you sound like you just talking gibberish. <laughs> and you sound like Muffin before he went to Juvie. Okay, Ouch. let me tell you something. You are going to not speak of that because that's not. Yep, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a friend. Oh or, my god, or a person that we know. Say, who, uh, friend. Pretty much went to juvenile hall for doing what? For molesting his dad. <laughs> All I know is that him and his dad got into a fist fight at work and at home. Really? Started to like his dad tried to Ooh. call and say he was like a runaway. To the police, so they both got arrested. So I don't know. Wait, what's wait, wait. so so him and his dad li- literally just like exchanged fists. Yes. And who, like, who won that one? Tell me. It was I don't. Dad. I don't know. I don't think they did it for long. Like when he was at work, his dad came up there and he was like, "You better tell you folks, you quitting your job." And Muffin was like, "Fuck no, bitch." So <laughs> <laughs> it started like quarreling up there, and then Muffin got in his car and left. And then he came home, and his dad came home, and then they, they got another argument and fought again. And then Muffin left the house, went, went over to John's house, and asked could he stay with him. He, I don't know, he went to someone else's house, and they called the cops. Cops showed up and basically told him that, you know, if you want to press charge, you can do that. But we're going to have to keep you in juvie because you're called as a runaway, and you can't do that at your age, so... Basically. Oh my god, he's gonna leave Juvie with tattoos all over his face of like <laughs> of like candy canes and shit. He's gonna come out looking for his dad. We're my five yeah. We're my five dad. Oh my god. That that just goes to show folks, just don't 
get into it with your parents because apparently some of them will call the cops on you, throw your ass in juvie like Brandon. Shut the fuck up. Brandon has been a prison inmate for about uh, how many years now, Brandon? Three years. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, he knows. Anyways, spe- speaking of... Uh, no, like, I literally... that The first time a black guy could ever say this, I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> That's what they all say. Well, I literally did not do a damn thing. I mean, Brandon was accused of doing something that a lot of people were saying uh, he didn't really do, so... I mean, I, I believe him to a certain extent, except for the whole thing when he used to be Brandon like, oh, you, you down with Brown? Says. Okay, I probably didn't even think of saying that <laughs> at the time. But um, spe- speaking of being down with Brown, the new YouTube update. Oh my God! What's that- up with these transactions? Oh the transitions, <laughs> transactions. I mean, I'm in transactions. Yes, we're we're purchasing items. Anything else you want to check out, Dave? Transitions, damn it. Well, I'm a, I mean, just, I'm a little confused on all this stuff. Like, I really don't know what's going to be counted as copywritten. Oh, and okay, okay, okay. So, well, I well, I don't know if it's Paul. Paul, are you there? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> pretty much they, they upgraded their copyright ID claims, and um, I'm pretty sure that, I mean, who, who am I as a person to tell YouTube as a corporation how to run their company? And and before anybody wants to say anything or make any claims on this or whatever, we're, we're just giving uh, our honest opinions about this being that we're all YouTubers and we're all, you know, content creators. Um, <clears throat> pretty, pretty much what happened was I'm pretty sure a bunch of yes men uh, was breathing down YouTube's necks with the whole uh, copyright with music montages, in- including you know copyrighted music and people you know pretty much uh, uploading stuff from Netflix and TV shows. And no, it's not that. Uh, no, no, no. It, 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 it is that. Suit. It is that because I remember they issued. Suit. No, no. They no, but they they issued an official statement on on exactly what, and that's exactly what people are using copyrighted music. People are uploading TV shows, and these giant corporations are losing money. So in order for them to make sure that people aren't you know, doing the wrong thing, they've upgraded their uh, copyright ID system, which pretty much enforces anything that has to do with music to a certain extent, even gameplays, like certain cutscenes for certain games. So that means that abolishes, like, Let's Players, reviewers to a certain extent. I remember um, there's there's a reviewer, um, I really forgot his name, that reviews games, and he adds he adds entire clips of games, like review cutscenes tech and USA? Huh? USA Review Tech or something like that? Uh, the guy who shows off like cutscenes and what it, it looks professional, it looks very professional. But people like that are gonna have to go down, and it's affecting everybody in terms of like Wait. gameplay commentators as well. Because for example, look at PewDiePie. He made his enchi- his entire you know a- everybody knows who he is, and you know whether you love him or hate him, everybody knows of him. So that guy based his channel off Let's Plays and and, and stuff like that. Same mm-hmm. thing with the Cog Brothers Gaming. Same Dude. thing with myself. And three man broadcast and notorious blaze and white boy. I mean, I e- even though even though there are YouTubers that people don't necessarily agree with, um, sometimes you have to have you know bad to have good. But in this case scenario, if if this actually <laughs> goes on, if this actually goes yeah, on right. and they follow up with this, it's gonna affect everybody. And do uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but I had to take down sixteen videos, including uh, you know, some of my GTA videos, which sucks. So. You wouldn't have to take them down if it's third party. Uh, yeah, you well, don't I mean, have to I, take the third. Down. If it's yeah. third party, you just leave that up. That really won't bother you. But you just don't is, get nothing for there, it. You there are a lot of them getting anything. false claims. No, yeah, yeah that, that that's what that's what uh, I, I received the email on false claims. But then again, um, I had to take down. I, I took down. I took down one Dragon Ball Z What If battle, and that really affected me because it was. It has something to do with music, and I'm like, that makes that makes no sense. Yeah, the in game music. You can't get rid of that. So it, that that goes right. to show, like, what about certain cutscenes for like GTA or Last of Us or Paul does Ratchet and Clank? He inc- he incorporates fucking cuts <clears throat> all the time. It's like, well, well but, that's different. See, I see you call me a Sony pony, but Sony is 100 percent down with people uploading their stuff. So oh, I know I I know that, but there was actually certain <laughs> tweets of certain companies that are saying, hey, please Sony upload our stuff. Now. But it's yeah, not like a bunch of companies are wanting to them in a sense. Actually, a Ubisoft. Um, I think Namco, Bandai, um, and some other companies all said that they allow people to upload it. They're against YouTube in this yeah, situation. The the Namco, Bandai you're talking about are the Dark Souls creators, which is a game that there I'm starting no to play. No one gives a damn about their game. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you would be fucking surprised, you little bitch. Ooh, damn! Namco, Bandai oh, okay, made Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. Think, 
Oh, yeah, there yeah. you go. All Paul just got stuff. you, bitch. <laughs> no, no, I ain't listening to you. Ooh, Anyways, <laughs> do you guys think <laughs> that if all the big YouTubers got all of their subscribers in the whole YouTube community to refute and rebel against all these new rules, you think it'd be able to work to get them to not do all this bullshit? Uh, well, that all depends. I mean, I really don't think it would have as big of an impact as you think it may have. Granted, yeah, they might hear us out, but in the end... Google has so much money that they could look at the argument, they can look at the uh, petitions, and they can just look away because in the end, <laughs> yeah, we may leave. We may stop doing whatever. Like, let's say PewDiePie, a white boy, myself, uh, Paul, every, let, let's say all of us stop doing YouTube, right? And then there were a new generation of people coming up. They, they wouldn't give a shit because you would have <laughs> more people coming up that would be able to take interest in that rather than, you know. Um, okay, because so What if they did this, though, Alex? What if they took, like, an old thing of YouTube and created it into their own image and created a new website for it and started doing that and everybody swapped over to that? Well, that that's the one YouTube, big mistake. I, like, no, I'm thinking that what's going to happen someday down the road, YouTube's going to turn in, like, MySpace versus Facebook. I, MySpace I became a music thing. No, I, I definitely and agree. Facebook because now, like, the newer uh, communicating with your friends when Facebook used to be that. No, no, I, I, I definitely agree with you, but what makes you think that – what makes you think that uh, – well, that, that's the thing. They, they don't have competition, but what makes you think that if another website rises, they can't just buy them out? They could. They really could because the guy who made YouTube sold YouTube, and he made a lot of money. And I'm pretty sure he's looking back right now shaking his head like, wow, why the hell did I sell this company? But I'm, I'm going to start with Brandon. Brandon, so – what are you? What are your thoughts on the whole copyright issues thing? What are your thoughts on the new comments that that have been implemented by Google Plus? Like, do you think this will work later on down the road, like a year from now, two years from now, or do you think this is pretty much the end of Let's Players and walkthroughs and all that kind of stuff? I don't think it's fair for a lot of people who are like start coming up, like like me and Dave and other people on YouTube, because it's like. A lot of people have a lot of talent that they want to show off, and by them restricting so much stuff where they can't really do that, then it's kind of like just manipulate or it's just really fucking up the whole point of even making a video now. Because like, if you have music in a video, I think that creates like atmosphere, it creates a good flow for a video. Because like, if I was to make a paintball video with no music, but that was like you had all the scenes like that would be good if it had music, it wouldn't look right because of what they would consider copywritten. I mean, I would totally fuck up the entire video. So I don't All think right. they're doing a lot of people fair that way. All right. What about you, Paul? Wait, what? Like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wait, yeah, he, he's probably sitting there watching this man, marshmallows. This man is just sitting there drinking his little soda like, man, I finally reached the goal of 40,000 yeah, subscribers. No, yes. But, but, but this, this is the question, Paul. How do you think... How do you think the copyright content ID stuff is going to affect oh you in general? And, like, wh where do you see, like, this – like, do you see this benefiting anybody, like, a year from now, two years from now? I mean, all right. So how do you guys feel? Like, do you guys feel that we have the right to take other people's games and put them online with our commentary over it? And, and well, that, if they give us permission, no, that's yes. actually in the copyright thing, though. No, that's in the copyright thing. That – the thing prevents – like, you can do commentary and Let's Plays – and have those cutscenes because it protects you because it was like fair use law. Yeah, you but can how, how many of us? How many of us have looked up a game that has to do with a let's play or walkthrough just because we found it? We found it to be interesting, but before buying it, we wanted to look more into it. If it wasn't for YouTube let's players and reviewers, we wouldn't have half the games we have now because you want to you want to see the product first. I mean, and and that's why I believe you know a lot of independent games have made. To be global in a certain sense, like Alex Slender, for example. Minecraft, no, no, Minecraft. Nobody, yeah. Minecraft. My, Minecraft and Slender, right? Nobody fucking knew who my, what what Minecraft or Slender was. Slender was started by PewDiePie. Everybody it blew up from there. Everybody started doing it. But Mojang's uh, Minecraft, same thing. Nobody knew what the hell Minecraft was until it blew up. You know, so God does Minecraft Syndicate projects. And I've seen Anders blew Minecraft up to where it is you know, today. So so Minecraft pretty much excelled in 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 areas where it never really. The company itself didn't even think it was going to reach. So, um, you say, do uh, well, I don't know, Paul. I mean, it's it all depends. But the question is, uh, what does that mean for the content creators, like in terms of quality? Um, well, it depends. Like, people are going to have to be more picky about the games that they play now. Like, um, some people say they're only going to do indie games from now on, stuff like that. So, so do you ever see YouTube? Later on down the line, coming up with a new program where it does not allow you to upload 
uh, gameplay content to a certain extent because the entire game might be copyrighted. Everybody's going to just jump over to Twitch. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm waiting for, too. Well, give or take the situation, do you think Twitch is the same? Because YouTube is... There's a, there's a nostalgic about new YouTube that it, you can't find it anywhere else, really. I mean, you can't really... Yeah, Twitch is cool, but you can't really compare the two, man. It's like YouTube is on a whole other caliber. And I'm pretty sure if, if Twitch were to rise to the occasion and become a competition... You're telling me that they won't buy Twitch out? They they don't have to because Twitch, like what you said, um, Twitch already knows where it's going if everybody starts jumping over. Like, look at the PlayStation 4. You know how many people have been playing and using Twitch, including yourself, on that console alone? Yes, I know. I, I agree. But in terms of brand and in terms of, you know, uh, what what both parties can offer, it's like YouTube, I believe, offers a lot more than Twitch would, you know what I mean, in certain aspects because... Um, I remember coming on here, I, I remember seeing people like the Angry Gamer Nerd and, you know, way back in the day, uh, looking at Ray William Johnson and stuff like that. And it's just like now, now it may be a little different, but in terms of what you produce, do you think it's going to affect you as a person or like me? Yeah. Um, not really. Yeah, All right. What, what about you, Dave? Like, do you, uh... do you think, do you think it's going to affect you as a person doing this now, now that you have like all these copyright stuff? Cause now you can't do certain games, you know, like. So, what are your yeah, thoughts on that? Yeah, but also, if you think about it, every single time YouTube has done something, people have found a way around it. Like, when they updated the YouTube uh, layout to what it was now, remember, people found a way to do the older one still. Huh. So, people are going to somehow find a way around this monetization stuff and all this copyright stuff one way or another, even without YouTube fixing it or not. But so that's the thing. It's like basically right now they're kind of wasting their time because somebody is either already trying to figure out how to get around it or has done it. I'm back. I think it's either YouTube is completely turning their back on the gaming community. It's like they think that we're more trouble than we're worth. So when we're really not, we're actually helping the community. We're we're, exactly. we're in a sense we are, but. I just never understood why it was like a big deal for us to even make our. It's just videos. It's a place where people can make videos and do their own thing. But then you got show their that's what YouTube was started as was to share your uh, videos and whatnot. So I mean, I don't see why. Like, like I have no problem with multiplayer, but like if you have games like The Last of Us, if you if it's only like mainly about the single player, if you upload the entire story, what's the point of buying the game anymore? Well, I mean, oh. then then again. Uh, you don't necessarily have to play the story to a but certain that's, extent. That's primarily what it's about. It's like buying GTA before online came out. And, no, it and it just... definitely was, but now it's it's not even going to be a question because now they're looking at it like, all right, well, if it's a cutscene, nope. If it's story, nope. Just if it, I mean, I'm pretty sure later on down the road, they're probably going to say, oh, multiplayer? Well, you can't, or you can't upload certain multiplayer things. Sorry. Oh, my. Yeah, but none of these game like only certain game companies are actually wanting that to happen. But so many game companies are not wanting this done. Like I, like, I keep I keep hearing that Nintendo is a huge supporter of this. No, yeah, no Nintendo, Nintendo is. Nintendo is not. They're yeah, not really wanting. They're not. They're actually people are getting copyright from them, but Nintendo said it's not them doing it. YouTube is actually, um, like blaming them for it in a way. So it's not Nintendo. It's not really Nintendo. It's YouTube's algorithm. So, right, like, why, why are they marginalizing people, then? I don't know, and that's why all the companies have that's to come out and say... S- that's not. where I'm still standing on that they're getting sued. They're trying to save their own ass from getting sued. Well, yeah, I mean, if I worked for them, like, in their main corporations, then I, I, I would do the same. I would try my best not to avoid, a, to avoid a lawsuit. But, I mean, it's it's definitely unfair for us because now certain people can't... I mean, how many montages have you seen... That were just pretty darn epic because of the music alone, you know. That's that what just, I'm saying. You know, That's the music, the music made it what it was. Or sometimes, um, you know, watching certain parodies of something that incorporated clips or whatever. Like it, certain videos are amazing on here. Like, uh, for example, like uh, the rap battles that they do with Master Chief and all these freaking characters and Leonidas and all this stuff. Like certain videos are awesome, and I'm I'm not saying that. You know, our videos in particular are the best because they're not. But if you if you look at the top 100 yeah. videos, if you look at the top 100 <laughs> videos on YouTube, I mean, they consist of things that have copyrighted music. Oh, so hey, Dave. they're they're either yeah. trailers or music. I'm gonna tag Tyler in, the other member of Three Man Broadcast, so uh, he's gonna take my place because I gotta go. And uh, yeah, I will so, see yeah, y'all. Brandon yeah. has to go milk his cows. I have to go. Stooch. Shut up. 
He's going back to Juvie, I'll, or he's going to go back to his cows? I'll, I'll Tyler. Yeah, All right, well, th- th- thou shall bring the tubby in here. But, um... <laughs> I'm out. And anyways, like so, like, do you guys think that this is gonna go? This this is actually going to affect, uh, you know, future let's players. Like for example, in a, in a certain aspect of uh, being able to upload full, you know, stories and whatnot. Like e- even though a, a certain game company might say you can upload our stuff, do you think that even with the permission of the company, you're still gonna get copyrighted? I think in the long run this will be fixed, but right now it's gonna affect a bunch of people with it honestly i think later down the road probably about a year to a year and a half it might be fixed and solved completely i i really don't think this is fixable uh well they might actually change up the freaking code of it or whatever i i really don't think this is fixable i mean because they they've dug deep to the point where it's affecting every i've seen videos from boogie i've seen videos from everybody just pretty much they're all just voicing their opinions and I mean, right now we're voicing our opinions that we don't we don't agree with the new system, but who are we to speak, you know? But and when's the last time you seen YouTube turn its back and roll back an update? They they always go forward with it. They never. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the Google Plus update. Yeah. Everybody yeah. complains about it every day, and but it's still there. There, I I think at this point there's only one solution. The only solution that we can possibly afford to you know just have at this point and that is having one person to speak for everybody the one person that can make the biggest impact in the world and that's kanye west <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you can, you can, can you imagine if, 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 if he came on here my you my woman no, no, is no, no, not no, a hobby wait so you, did you guys see the new south park episode yes so how was it it was epic not yet. so it, it, is his bitch a hobbit you know what i'm gonna watch oh pretty much yeah <laughs> I, I oh my god I, like how pissed in real life do you think Kanye West was yeah, I don't know you remember how he reacted to the Jimmy Kimmel thing yeah it, he must have been flipping shit cause they shitted on his image so much <laughs> I, I remember he came back on he was like uh, I, I used to, I, I'm a recovering fish I was like what and then <laughs> Man, he was the, cl- the, hell? the classroom just ranting he's like bitch are, are you are you a hobbit <laughs> and then he said he said something about Kim being on the on the hobbit movie and then he, <laughs> he yeah. turns yeah. he turns back he was like bitch are you really a hobbit there was a part where Pro- Pope Francis was getting an award. Yeah, and he even interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> no, the funniest thing was Wendy. He was like uh, some some mean old jelly or something like that. It was jelly of the Hobbit? I don't know. I, I was I'm just sitting there like, the fuck? You're He's like, crying. You, why are you jelly? <laughs> why you say I, I'm sorry for being jelly? I He's like, no, I said, hey. but, so so, what are your thoughts on Kanye West? Like right now as a person? He's a douche. Uh, how big of a douche? <laughs> um, Young money is better. Like like a Super Saiyan three douche. That's it. Well, okay, you you want to go further? Okay, even further beyond Super Saiyan four Gogeta douche. That's it. <laughs> what the fuck? How how much bigger can you get? I don't know. I think this guy is like a Super Saiyan one hundred and twelve douche. Like he's he's arguing on the fact that he's not a billionaire. That's his whole argument. No one there. Why don't we just call him a Super Saiyan one million? He he's a he's arguing because he's not a billionaire. That's his argument. I mean, his whole leather workout clothing? What? Really? Exactly. How many of us are going to be like, hey, Paul, go get your leather sweatpants so we can work out? Like, first of all, leather, like, when, when you sweat, it's going to become sticky. And it's just going to become, like, a little moist. That, that's, that, that's disgusting. Who, who the fuck would want to go work out in leather clothing? If I ever saw anybody work out in leather clothing, I'm going to chuck a dumbbell at you. Like, For real. Uh, young money would. It's like, yeah, we're looking stylish while we're working out. Yeah. Because you go to the gym to, like, bust your ass and sweat. Possibly come out of there with a busted nose. But you don't go in there to looking like fucking you're about to win an Emmy. So, but that that's his whole argument. He was like, he, what did he say? He said something about Versace and uh, Louis Vuitton and Ralph and fucking all this shit. He was like, uh, he was talking to Sway about it. He was like, uh, your, your name brand ain't no Ralph. Your name brand ain't no Louis Vuitton. You know, nobody know your brand name brand. And he's just, yeah, he just say Ralph. But yeah, there, there is, <laughs> no, there is a name brand called Ralph. Ralph. <sighs> Listen, man. <laughs> just, just because your name is Ralph from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Wait, is that Vern's real name? Well, that's his, um, well, that, that's his given name by us. Does he look like Ralph? Yeah. No. <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. Man, well, Alex, hybrid. everybody looks like Ralph. <laughs> no, he looks like a hybrid of Plank and Ralph. 
Wow. How does that happen? So you're saying he's skinny as a plank and then his head looks like Rolf or what? Well, he pretty much lives in the village. I mean, I mean, do you not? Exactly. No answer. All right. So I'll, 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 I'll come back to you, Oob. All right. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad. Anyways, back to Kanye. So, like, what, what are your thoughts on him, Paul? Like, in terms of, like, do you think he's ever going to get his clothing line out? I hope like, not. And, and would you buy it? No. Why? Okay, so you saw the episode, right? Yes. Yo, I feel like Butters <laughs> completely pinned the mark on the way I, like, like, I feel like I have a lot in common with Butters in that episode. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why? Kim Kardashian, the most prettiest woman ever. Why can't you <laughs> be like? Yeah, you want to talk about her bosom? Yes, has that big bosom. And then, like when they went into the cafeteria, and the little girl asked him out, he was like, "I'm sorry, but you're too fat." Bye. <laughs> yeah, that that was that was so fucked up. And it's like, cause you envision Butters, right? This little fucking dorky kid who gets bullied around by Eric Cartman, and he's just like, he he's about to get some poontang from a girl, and he's like, if it's not Kim Kardashian, nope. Well, can you blame him? I mean, that, that, you know, that chick had her, her pants up to like her nipples. Yeah. Hey man, <laughs> so, sometimes, sometimes. That, that, that was some creepy shit. I was like, but it's, hey man, brother. And then Carmen was like, well, it's not because she's fat that we hate her. It's because she's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you gotta agree. Uh, Eric Carmen actually had a, a legitimate point for that. That wasn't legitimate. Bro, he was covering his own ass. No, it's true. I mean, why not? Why just cover up the lie? Oh, you're just fat. No, no, you're ugly. You're a Cartman, and, and, and you're and you're still gonna be fucking Ralph. So, well, why are you even talking, Oob? Why? What the hell? He, he looks like Oob when he first entered the World Martial Arts Tournament. Oh shit! Yeah, I went there. No shoes and some rags. You're a fat boo. Okay, I'd still fucking crush you. This dude said fat boo. I'd still crush you, though. Turn you into some... I'll turn you into a fucking... Like, uh... What am I going to turn you into? Hmm. Well, I can turn you into a cloth and just wipe my ass with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that? You, you, you want some Majin Buu shit on your fucking face? <sighs> fucking Kanye West. I, I was watching all of his videos, and I'm just sitting there on my chair just thinking, like, wow... This guy is arguing with the entire planet because he's not a billionaire. And he argues that there aren't enough black billionaires, when in reality, the owner and maker of BET is black. He's a billionaire. Oprah Winfrey's a fucking billionaire. The president's black. Will so it's Smith. just like, why are you complaining? And, and you know, uh, like the same thing with uh, P. Diddy. He was like, th what they try to do is like, we have to get a black person up there. Come on, my black community, support me. Support me because I'm black. No, it's it's it, it's ridiculous. Fifty Cent is close to a billionaire. P Diddy's close to a billionaire. It's like, I mean, Little Wayne, fucking multi multi millionaire. Yeah, it's like, so what are you complaining about? I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't understand. They just want more and more. They're gonna use their own people that they're trying to help out just to get more money. I, I hate them, man. They, and guys, it's not about race. Just in case you think myself or Paul or anybody in here is racist, I'm colored. It, it's just the fact. That, <laughs> it's just the fact. That you ain't. It's just the fact that Kanye, in particular, believes that um, there aren't enough black billionaires. I, I think the richest man on this planet is Mexican, is, is he not? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it's definitely not a white guy. Uh, I mean, granted, there might be more white billionaires, but the richest guy on the planet is a Mexican. And, and, and following up to that, you have multi billionaires like Oprah, <laughs> and you got P. Diddy coming up, you got 50 Cent, you have so many artists and, and musicians and boxers look at look at floyd mayweather isn't he a billionaire come i don't on. know come on oh, like, even I know jay -Z is like so got like half a million at least ha huh? look at this well, you, you said half a billion with jay-z yeah i know I, I think jay-z's way up there i'm sorry alex invite the fat man he keeps sending me messages saying invite well i mean shit, i i do not know i mean <laughs> But but what what are you, what are your thoughts on like the whole process of uh, rich people like to a certain extent like uh in terms of white people and you know dark skinned people? Wait what? Like like what are your thoughts on like black people, white people, colored people like uh scale and money? Like do you think like uh there are more white people that are billionaires or black people or Spanish people or what? Um, 
I'm not entirely sure. Because, I mean, I don't know. For me, it just seems like in certain aspects, there, there are probably more white billionaires, but there are more black millionaires. I mean, what do you think? Wait, what? I said I think that there are more uh, white billionaires, yeah, and and probably uh, more black millionaires. Yeah, I agree with you. Because you have, you know, NBA players, you have rap stars, you have athletes, professional athletes. I mean, so they all get thrown into that category, like in that range. So I mean, you don't really see a hockey player who's like a multi, multi, multi millionaire, like somebody like LeBron James, who I can't stand with the passion. I don't understand why you hate him. He's still the best player in the NBA today. He's a fucking Illuminati sellout punk bitch guy who's just, I hate him. So oh is Kobe, God. and probably so is Jordan. What the hell? Well, I don't know about Jordan. Jordan played with the passion of a thousand What is lines. happening Jordan with Jordan played with a passion, right but the what NBA the revolved around mind? him, only him. He didn't give a shit about money. All he cared about was winning those rings and doing it for the profession of the sport. If he didn't give a shit about money, why is his sneakers the highest paid sneakers ever? Well, it's because right now he's not playing. That's why. I mean, how else are you going to make a living? So he can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, if you're retired, Paul, what are you going to do? Just sit back and not do anything? Not you're invest? Me, you're telling me making like some of the most money in the NBA while you're in there, you need more after you come out? Well, who's to say? I mean, who's to say that he's making the same amount that he did? I mean, <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. In terms of being a basketball star. Now, off the scenes, yeah, he's making a lot of money because of his investments and his products. But would you not have done the same? Um, hmm. I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't really want to diss Michael Jordan. He's a cool dude. So case dismissed. How am I supposed to comp- compete with that? Really? Yeah, I mean, but like, would you not do the same? I mean, Kobe Bryant, same thing. I mean, yeah, he might be a sellout as well. And I, I do believe he, he is. I, well, I think Kobe's a, a ball hogging sellout. But, yeah. but he still stood with his team, man. Despite all the good and bad shit. Yeah, but Kobe look look look, look at an example of what happens when you don't when you stay with your team if they suck. Look at Melo. Yeah, Melo Mello wants out, sadly. That, that's like the shittiest team right now. Next to the Milwaukee Bucks, the Knicks, oh my god, most overrated team ever. What? I don't care if I'm a New Yorker, they suck. Why? They they can't play as a team. They suck. Care back. And, and, and who's to blame for this? The only person carrying them is Melo, and I think it's the coach's fault. I think it's the player's fault because the, the coach is a freaking defensive coach instead of an offensive coach using his players properly. He sucks. So, you know so, so, young so who would you bring in as a coach then? Fire, fire everybody. Just take Melo off of the team. And get rid of Stoudemire. He's killing the team the most. Uh, I agree. Get rid of Stoudemire. But what about uh, – so, so would you ever look into college basketball players bringing them in um, or, or, or just stick to like grabbing other – people from other teams i don't really i mean because that that's pretty much what miami did they not they looked at other teams and they were just like all right give me that player give me that player oh i'll take that player whereas opposed to young fresh basketball stars who might be better than some of these mainstream basketball guys oh it's a whole different ball game when you, when you go from college to the nba you play in madison madison square garden man it's like everybody's staring yeah but if you get like, posterized everybody's gonna see it <laughs> But, but but do you think that college basketball you know players are better or to a certain extent than uh, professional basketball players? They're more ambitious, but they don't have the experience. So you're leaning towards no? Yeah. So you're telling me there's not one college basketball player out there somewhere, right, that might be on par with LeBron James? No, that's exactly what I was about to say. Nope, nope. Not a single one. Because LeBron, his his he, mentally, he's been in the, like the the competitive edge of the NBA for years now. He's mastered that. But getting someone fresh out of college, it's a whole different ball game. That's like jumping from like like in a video game, jumping from like your 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 normal difficulty to like very hard. Okay, so what about if you're not saying better than LeBron James, then what about better than Kobe? Anybody? Nope, nope, nope. nope. I don't watch basketball, so I can't answer none of this. So what what do you watch, Dave? Nothing really. Occasionally, occasionally some college football or NFL, and sometimes maybe NASCAR only when the big events are on. Why, why, why football over basketball? That, that's just usually what I watch more than anything, though, if it's on TV. But there has to be a reason why you would prefer watching a football game over a basketball you know, game. I, I, I like watching men like hit each other full on with all that. Oh man, all that compressed 
force and everything going what into it. Is, is he getting, is he getting, is he getting turned on I'm by the did, did you hear the, you hear the way he replied? He's, oh, I like the way they hit each other. <laughs> I'm joking. So, like, do you, do you, do you like, oil y'all hear that chainsaw? I'm sorry if y'all do. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is working on the floor. Yeah, in your room? No, not in my room. Uh, downstairs, he's just cutting up some wood and whatnot to install into the floor in the living it's like room. Like chainsaw on the wall open. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a door right yeah. here. <laughs> he's not. He's downstairs, outside on like concrete, cut, cutting a hole in the ground. I'm gonna make a toilet right here. <laughs> <laughs> what this, the this hell? Is where my son can store all his reindeer piss in uh, in the winter wow. season. Oh, don't, don't, don't laugh, Vern. No, that's for Vern. <laughs> yeah, that is Vern. Reindeer piss. Screw you guys. Anyways, you guys let, 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 let's get on to the topic of, well, since we're bringing it back, Fallout. So, did you all hear Woo. about it? Fallout 4? Yep. Where's it based, Alex? Huh? Massachusetts. Damn it. Aw. Oh, got you by the balls now, didn't I? <laughs> so, so what, what are your thoughts on that, guys? Like, do you think, I mean, because Fall, was it Fallout 3 game of the year? Yeah. I think yeah, so. so. But what, what about Fallout 4? What do you, what do you guys think? Um, I think it has a lot of more competition now. Will it be better than Skyrim? That's the thing. It's like Skyrim's coming out with an MMO now. Well, te- Elder Scrolls Online. So it's like, <laughs> why is there no Fallout Online? <laughs> Somebody's getting e- either Fallout is really happening outside of Dave's house. Or- <laughs> Nuke incoming. Oh shit. No, but that, that that's the thing about Fallout 4. Like, uh, Paul, your brother pulled... I don't know about you, but I know your brother played New Vegas, right? I played all of them, yeah. You play, All right, so would you agree that Fallout 3 is better than New Vegas? Yeah. Why? Because you, you had the father <sighs> thing going on. Like, you had a father figure. And, and, but in Fallout New Vegas, you were alone. But the thing is, the father was Liam Neeson. No way. He was. Really? That was him, yep. That, that was the voice actor? Yep. Will, will will he return? I don't know, but you didn't know that. Oh yeah, you didn't. I, I didn't know that. I mean, I'm I'm not a diehard Liam Neeson fan. Like some... I didn't know that either until like a year ago. I was like, what? that was Liam Neeson. Oh my god. Yeah. Did Did you like squirt all over your walls? It's... He's like, oh god, ooh, margin. It's like what? I, all right. So you're saying it's competition. What What is there to be uh, competing with against Fallout Four? I mean, because we we don't even know when it's, when it's coming out, really. If Fallout 4 comes out next year, you got to go against Destiny, Infamous, Titanfall. I think it's the 2015 game, Paul. 2015? All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it might come out 2015 as well. There's no way they're going to release that and compete with everything else. All right, so then you got a chance of going against Uncharted, God of War. <laughs> that's it? Um, that's all I know for 2015. Because you got to remember, not everybody's an Uncharted, God of War fan. Borderlands 3, maybe? Yeah, uh, okay. I doubt that. Give them about three more years. They'll have another Borderlands. Yeah, for Borderlands, I don't think they're coming out with anything soon. Because, like, did, didn't they just do the new uh, Yod Slayer uh, character installment along with some DLCs? They're doing some small DLCs here and there. So why would you want to fucking announce the third game when you're doing DLCs already? Because the third game on Next Gen, oh my god. And that's the thing, guys. We never really were fans of Fallout until I remember one day during the summer at Paul's house, I was just talking about, well, what, what if we start Borderlands? And we're all looking through the game, and we're all like, all right. And then we finally got it, and then eh, it changed our lives. I, I love yeah. the ending fight. The, the ending, ending fight back. is basically a regular fight in Monster Hunter. Well, okay. You don't have to just shit on our dreams now. I don't I don't <laughs> want to shit on it. I'm just saying. Sure you like. So, did you ever play Monster Hunters? Hmm? Me? Yeah. I played all, most of them. Did you play the new one? Um, no, I haven't done Oh, that's too bad, isn't it? Like how Alex was saying that. Did you play the new one? Huh? Yeah, did you? <laughs> well, then shut up. I'm trying to fucking ruin Borderlands for all of us. <laughs> I remember when I played that shit and I've, I got to the end with Kenny and Jason. I was just like, because Paul sold his 360 edition to get the PS3 edition so he can play with his brothers. Meanwhile, he could have been playing with me and all my guys, and we would have just been raping dragons. But no, he just we he wants to rape dragons with bombs. Well, you see, oh god, can't believe you sold. Well, the I mean that that that, that that's that's 360 that's, edition, my man. That that's okay because I was carrying him in Borderlands anyway. Hell yeah, no. right. We, we did the dumbest thing ever. Damn. We chose two assassins. <laughs> 
You're like, yeah, I don't want to be Sarah. No, I don't want to be Sarah. Get, out. Get the fuck. Uh, wait, what color were you again? I was red and black. I was like, what was that, like, blue or something like that? Or blue? I, I, I think I was just all black. And I remember, like... That makes we, me wonder, what was going through your mind when y'all wanted to be the assassin? We thought we were going to have a huge sword. Oh, okay, that's it? I was thinking one of y'all was probably going to go with, like, the big heavy gunner guy. Well, I was originally going to do that, but I was just like, yeah, that dude with the sword looks like he can just cut through fucking metal easily. <laughs> So um, I was just like... Borderlands character is the siren. So I, I, mean, I was going to use him, and then I used him, and then I noticed that me and Paul kept getting downed over and over and over and over again. And, and it was like, instead of it being a huge sword, it was a dagger. <laughs> yeah, I remember Paul whipped out. He's like, I got my shit, what is this? <laughs> well, I'll be like, well, that, that's the sword, ain't it? It's a fucking dagger. But I, I remember I kept holding him up, you know. I, whenever he'd go down, I'd be there to pick him up, you know, like a true brethren. Uh, unlike him, I, I would go down and he'd leave me there <laughs> in the fucking desert all by myself. I carried you, nigga. All right, so with Fallout 4, like, what do you guys expect to see in the game? Like, in terms of, like, what do you think is going to be different? I mean... They're obviously gonna allow you to make 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 choices again and stuff like that, and they're gonna yeah. But the Fallout you. campaign just evolves more around. It's not even the story line that counts the most. It's more about the side missions, anyways. Okay, so and y'all can y'all can say bullshit on that, but it's true. There's more side missions than there are main missions. But are the side missions better than the main missions? Some of them are, yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Because some of them actually make sense. Story, you're like doing a. I guess you can say, like, Call of Duty, you're doing stuff over and over again sometimes. So so you think Fallout 4's side missions are going to make it even yes. better? Yes. Yes. Most likely, yes. I, I really want to see if Fallout can compete with Skyrim. It can. Well, aren't I mean... They, aren't they made by the same company? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so what the hell? No, I mean, but just, just in terms of titles alone, you have Skyrim, and everybody loves Skyrim. I, I loved Skyrim until... I found out you can become a werewolf and a vampire, and I tried my best to do that, and I failed miserably. But um, I became a werewolf in mine. <laughs> I wanted funny. to become a werewolf, so I, I never fucking figured out how. It's a whole big process and stuff. So uh, I know you, uh, the Winterhold, or not Winterhold, but uh, that first city you come to, like the first major city. Yeah. Like in there, you were able to do it. There was White a guy runs. that you had to talk to. White run? Uh, I think so. Yeah, like the big where like you had to go up into the. Uh, palace or whatever, up those stairs and shit. A hundred dollars says either Paul's on Skyrim right now, or he's possibly contemplating <laughs> and turning into a no, vampire. No, no, he's on Skyrim right now because heard that click, click. Well, listen, see. listen to the oh, background. He is, he is on Skyrim. <laughs> listen in the background, you can hear it. But so, Paul, uh, if, how many Paul, times? If you want to, nah, how many times were you caught trying to rob time. somebody's house? You see, if I get caught robbing somebody's house, I just slash him to death. Oh yeah, because you're that powerful. Dude, I, I'm the biggest asshole in these games, okay? <laughs> you caught me stealing from you? All right. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't noticed, like, everything that he plays through, he wants to be the bad guy. Yeah. If they do not have a choice and you have to be good, he does good. But he wants to be the evil character and yep. if you have a choice in it. <laughs> so so how, how many women have you stabbed in, in your whole process? <laughs> like a oh, bunch. God. And I, I stacked their bodies on top of each other. And, 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 and how, how, many men, how, how many men have you raped in forests? Wait, what? Ew. I mean, Ew. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's just, it's it's a known fact that there are more men stalking you in forest than women. Well, <laughs> I decapitated most of them. I had, like, this them, one so. villager follow me, like, throughout the mountains that I had to beat his face in with a shovel. Really? I mean, I, I don't know what he wanted from me. He just kept following me. And I was like, get away. And then I came across, like, those giant, like, 20-foot ogres. And, and you then, got launched all the way into the sky. And then, you know, bad stuff happened to me after that. But I, I digress. So... In terms of Fallout 4, like, what do you what do you really expect from the game? Uh, probably a little bit better of a main storyline. Well, I mean, will it be a follow up or just a brand new story in and of itself? Uh, it might follow. It might be a whole brand new story because I doubt it's gonna follow up. Like, it might start talking about like Fallout 3 events and what happened over there, but probably not. Who knows? So you're saying it might continue? Well, well what about you, Paul? I really don't know. I mean, I mean, would you want it to continue? Or would you want it to be a brand new story? I want it to continue, or at least give a wave to the old story. But what can they add to this game that will make it completely different from the last? 
What about full custom? Well, they already have customization to an extent, but what exactly. about uh, what, what about weapons uh, customizations? I can see him doing that. Add in like in the game he's playing right now, Skyrim, how you can add poison to a sword or a dagger and all this other Enchant stuff. Enchant them and stuff like that. Yeah. I can see them actually probably allowing you to either combine, like probably do like a Dead Rise and combine two weapons. Or yeah. To revolutionize it, they would have to add like co-op. For what? For Fallout? Yeah, yeah. for Fallout, yeah. Wait, didn't they have co-op last time? No. No? No? Fallout, all the Fallouts are just single player, Alex. So you're saying co-op would just change it? What, what about a multiplayer? Uh, it, it, I was thinking kind of like Borderlands 2, not like like a multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, not well, a multiplayer. But, but would a multiplayer work? No. I don't really think so. No. <laughs> Why? Because the VAT system, like what most people use, you can aim on any body part, freeze time and everything, and just start shooting at it. it it's, it's too complicated. Hang on, what happens, though, in multiplayer if both people do that at the same time, though, Paul? I, I don't know. <laughs> like, just think about that. Break the space-time continuum, create a black hole, I don't know. Speaking of space-time continuum, I, I can't get that scene out of my head when they jumped out of that plane for Godzilla, and that one derp looked like, looked like he was about to land on Godzilla's head. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't plane. believe it. The, the oh. guy was like... I wouldn't uh, be doing this if I didn't have faith in you. And everybody's jumping. Everybody's looking around. I mean, the guy's scared out of his mind. You can hear him breathing. And then that one derp in the background just like, Yuck, buddy. Yeah, I can definitely see Paul or somebody doing that. Like, like I- I'm the guy who's, like, really far away, and he's the derp, like, really close to Godzilla. So he's just like, well, I shouldn't have jumped in this parallel, but you know what? Young buddy. Young buddy. <laughs> How fucked up would it be if everybody else dies except for that one guy who jumped really close to him? Because <laughs> they all get swiped by the tail and he just he just went balls deep into his mouth. Yeah. Well, I mean, he has a parachute, so I'm pretty sure he can get away, right? Did you just say he went balls deep <laughs> into his mouth? Did he really what? just say that? Guess what he just said. He You're going like... to go balls deep inside of Godzilla's mouth. <laughs> Did he really just say that? <laughs> Wow, okay, well, uh, I know who I'm going to go see the movie with. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want to see his reaction when Godzilla roars. Wow, did you see <sighs> what he went balls deep with that roar? Yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> what in the hell is that, Paul? Bird, what the, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> right, Alex, guys... look at that picture that he just put into the Skype link. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Vern? I, I, I have Vern? a secret. I, from Paul. I hope to that. God that it doesn't scar my eyeballs, but... <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. What is okay. it? What okay. Is it? No, no, because Paul, Paul actually... You know, he he wanted to uh, redeem himself, but but you know, no, nothing ever comes close to this. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying, dog? No, yeah, no, yeah. no. This is the final product. I got it right here. Hold on. Oh, I I, I have something okay. for him as well. Oh He's over here yeah, making. He goes, this fucking... is the final product. Jesus Christ! But like, I I would love to see a Pacific Rim, uh, you know, sort sort of like Godzilla crossover because I I think that would be awesome because. I think nowadays everybody's trying to do superhero mo- movies, and I I think it works. But do you think that's probably going to be the downfall of movies to a certain extent? It's meant to do no because now they're adding like you said Wonder Woman and Flash into the Man of Steel movie. They're doing the Avengers. They're doing Marvel and and you know they're doing DC films and now they're doing you know X Men Apocalypse and all that kind of stuff. Well, do you think that they should just separate themselves from the uh, comic book superhero realm? And just go off and do something else or no? No, I think this generation is going to be all about that. Why? Because CGI and oh. stuff like that have gone super sane in the past couple of years. So. Oh, so, so so, you wouldn't want to see any remakes of like old school movies? <laughs> what the fuck? Not for now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Who lives in a pineapple on the sea. SpongeBob's all over that. <laughs> Is is your father still chainsawing the ground? Yes, he is. Well, you better tell him to shut. He can't up. chainsaw on the ground. He's chainsawing <laughs> wood. He's trying to get like we're added in wood to the hallway, so he's trying to get that. Oh done. my god! Like, what <laughs> the hell? Good job. Good job. Why don't 
didn't you just add Squidward into that mix too with Mr. Krabs and a pro? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I I got something planned for Paul, but Ver, Vern's laughing like a fourteen year old schoolgirl. Do you hear him? <laughs> like like he's laughing like one of those Japanese girls in Tokyo that that, that they just saw the new freaking Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift movie. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I forgot. You don't watch movies. What? You you live <laughs> in the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> Next to reindeer piss. I can't believe Paul's playing fucking Skyrim right now. That's the guy who broke Paul's mirror. Uh, I'm I'm about to, I'm about to watch some freaking Godzilla right now, the 1998 version, just so I can see how bad of a movie it was. It was bad. But yeah, you didn't you didn't like anything Paul's about playing. it, like it was complete horseshit. But you didn't like nothing about it, like nothing. the story, at least the story, like in terms of no in the beginning, like what happened. No. So not a single thing. Not a single thing that movie was good. Was it worse than Dragon Ball Evolution? Keep saying no. What was it worse than Dragon Ball Evolution? Yeah. Was it worse than Avatar the movie? I I didn't think Avatar was that bad. Oh my god, you have just angered thousands of people. What do you mean? Because Avatar wasn't that bad. Everybody hated that film. There, There was not a single person that walked the face of this planet that actually loved. That Airbender movie. Oh, the right Airbender movie. Oh, the Airbender. Yes. Oh, I thought you were talking about that freaking animated one. No, no, no. The Avatar Airbender movie. With uh, M Night Shyamalan. I, I didn't. I didn't see that one. So. Huh? I didn't see that either. So. I I think it'll change your fucking life. You I saw know it? you're talking about Avatar the Airbender shit. No, no, like like the the M Night Shyamalan movie. It was just. <sighs> so, so so all right. Was Godzilla worse than Man of Steel? Yeah. Okay, uh, so it, it, does it go down as being the worst movie you ever saw? No. So what's the worst? I mean, people, that stupid space movie that I just had to watch. 2001 Space Odyssey? Yeah. Why was it so bad? It's the, mo- everybody's like, oh, it's a piece of art. Yes, it's, it's such a good movie. <sighs> it's the slowest paced movie I've ever seen in my life. It's boring. What the hell? Oh yeah, well why don't you go try watching Gravity? Maybe oh, maybe God. that'll change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, has anybody ever seen Gravity before? Or no. No. Check the link. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Yeah, uh, damn right. Cause Squidward's happy. He's like, look at the size of that dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. He added Squidward God. in so quick. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause right <laughs> that now, that's all he's got. I, I bet you. I, I bet you he paused his little Skyrim. You know, yeah, going going, going about bad, murdering bad. people in villages, and he's doing that. A little fucking sneak. He added Squidward in. So look at it. Look at this. As they're about to jump off the plane in the trailer, that one derp. It looks like he just said "fuck the team" and he went his own way, and that's what made him fucking go into Godzilla's direction. Look at it. he's like YOLO. He's going. He's going, and he's gone. I mean, but doesn't it look like they're descending into hell? Because that's what it pretty much looks like to me. Like, they're all descending into, like, hell. Even though it's San Francisco and I feel bad. It's just, like... And, and supposedly this is supposed to be the biggest Godzilla, like, ever, so... Godzilla? They, well, they do gonna super be great. Size him? No, like, he's... Like, he's way... Like, the biggest one was the 1974 version, I believe. And they said that this Godzilla is the biggest by far. Now, there there is no, like, real estimate on how big he is, but... The thing is, like, how are you going to introduce another monster? Like, would that not take away from the Godzilla story? Not really. If they introduce <sighs> the fact... Like, what they're doing with Spider-Man, everybody was created in one laboratory. Yeah, but you can't just copy fucking Spider-Man's formula. If it works. I mean, that's what they're trying to do with the Avengers versus DC. No? Are they? Just Wait, the League. Avengers versus DC? Justice League. Well, the Avengers versus... Just- well, they're, they're not going to do that movie for... A long, long time, so you might as well just give up on that. But all right, all right, so going back to Spider-Man in relation to Godzilla, so like, like, do you think the next monster is going to be a genetically engineered monster, or do you think it's you know just natural? Um, not entirely sure there, buddy. Well, yeah, because you're too busy playing Skyrim. That's why murdering men in, in yeah, I'm too busy playing freaking Dark Souls. So I mean, or or who wait, you see? What, what wasn't wasn't Brandon the one that insulted Dark Souls earlier? Yeah, because he doesn't play any RPG games. Oh, well, God. he should. He he, well, the, he only plays 
First, well, I, I want to say first <laughs> he plays. No, mostly he plays first what person shooters. Uh, You're right. Good for, job. No, nah, I mean, but doesn't he play Naruto and he plays um, GTA? Yeah, but mostly they're first person shooters though. He <laughs> plays. He'll play Naruto and, and and GTA aren't first person shooters. Yeah, I know, but he played. He's played more uh, first person shooters than he has any other games though. Oh my god. <laughs> It sounds like your father just chainsawed Ralph. <laughs> Sash Eric Cartman. Oh, man. But, um, well, let me see. Brandon played Halo 3, Halo Reach, Gears of War. Gears of War is not a uh, first-person shooter. It ain't an RPG now, is it? Typical so, I mean, Xbox gamers here. Well, I'm, well, Typical I'm, Xbox gamers. Motherfucker, I play a lot of RPGs, bitch. You're, you're, you're the minority in the Xbox gaming crowd. 50% of them only play Call of Duty. Ooh, now, what do you that mean? Means. What do you mean, minority here? I gotta elaborate your minority cause now. <laughs> I because barely any of them really like the RPGs. 50% of them only play Call of Duty. They're plaguing the gaming community. And that's why you freaking got me switching over to PS4 now. And exactly, it's, it's like cheaper. we're not going to get any revolutionary <laughs> games because if 50% of them are only playing Call of Duty out of the 73 or 74 million of the consoles sold, come oh, on. Oh yeah, because because you guys have PS4s. Oh wait, sorry, oops. Oh oh I, yeah, Alex Alex tried to redeem <laughs> himself there. Okay, never mind. I have the revolution, and let me just say, <sighs> I got it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Imagine, I mean, both consoles are flawed. I'm waiting until next year to see what they're going to do because there's nothing on them. I well, mean, that's, that's like the store, expected. the stores are empty. The, the, the music selection is empty. The video archives, they only have like Hulu and Netflix. That's why I'm, tr- I'm going to be trying to get my PlayStation 4 right before Dark Souls 2 comes out because I don't want to play it on the Xbox 360, though. When does Dark Souls 2 come out? March uh, 11th, I think. I know it's in March. I, 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 already, I thought Dark Souls 2 already came out, though. Yeah, Dark Souls has been out for a couple years, but Dark Souls 2 comes out next year, dude. So oh, I mean, I, what what is Dark Souls? Because I, I never really, I, I remember my old manager at GameStop used to play it, but I never really like cared too much. Oh, I, was like, I was like, it is basically a guy yeah. like he lived his life and whatnot. But then, uh, I guess like it's, I really don't know the story behind it. But from what I know of, is this guy just is what a dead person hell? that is now what the fuck, Paul? That is now just casted into an undead world, and he's alive, and he's going out battling all these beasts. And from what I've seen so far, all you are is in a castle, like a huge freaking castle, too, just traveling around, fighting. Like, there's many bosses. Like, I took a, uh-huh. I took a dragon's uh, tail off and got an all- epic sword out of it and uh, been basically fighting undead people. I don't really so know. So, like, any, 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 any specific bosses, battles, or something like that, or... Um, I know there's a dragon. I've already faced two bosses, I guess you can say. One of them was really easy, and the other one I died multiple times on. Uh, you have a Taurus demon, which is like a red uh, rhinoceros-looking like thing with the devil horns on it. And then you have like a Taurus Asylum or something like that that is protecting like the place that you're leaving. That is actually a jail cell, I guess you can say. And like at the end of the first, you just have a big ass bird come swoop you, swoop in and take you to a freaking random area. Hmm. But well, Alex, you you know how I've never complained about any RPG game. I'll never say it's hard or anything like that. Yeah. I've complained about being getting killed like multiple times over and over about this game, dude. Like this game is a bitch. Well, like what what difficulty are you playing on? I'm playing on normal. All my other RPG games, I'll try and play on hard, but this game is just a bitch. Hmm. All right, so, like, did, did you hear about what the PS4 is going to do on E3? No. Well, they're, <laughs> they're, they're planning on announcing one of the biggest announcements they ever had on E3, and they're just waiting for E3 to come on by, and I think it's the long-anticipated God what the fuck war. is this, Paul? God of War. <laughs> well, it ain't gonna be Jack. It's it's gonna be God of War. I I hope it's God of War. Oh man! All right, Paul, stop putting up those random ass pictures. Fucking Paul's go back pictures of his ass. Go back to playing your Skyrim, dude. Wait, is that Goku? What the hell? Yeah. I, I'm just waiting, cause I I if it, if it's God of War four, I, I I'm gonna be one happy camper. And that's a gigantic ass scorpion. Holy shit. All right, I'm done with that. Uh, you might want to run. David's bigger than you. 
It is. It's metal plated and everything. See, I, I, I wanted to go to E3 with a certain somebody in here, but, you know. I mean, dude, you could have came pick me up. I would have went with you. Shit, at this point. Paul, you coming? When? E3. All right, let's do it. Yeah, he says that now. Wow. He says that now. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> when, when the day comes, hey, you want to get tickets? Well, you know, I, I you want to know how I got these? No, I don't know. Just, you want to go or not? Well, well, I, I would go, You but you see, um, what, I, what, what college coming up? Hey, like, college oh, well. is, is, is the death star of the world. Why? It is just so whack. Also, how, how was finals? Oh, that's next week. Oh, wait, you didn't have your finals already? Yeah, I'm supposed to be studying right now, but I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm supposed to be studying, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. So you're supposed to be studying, and, and you're not. Well, I did do some. I just put it on hold for now. Why? Oh, because you're too busy playing Skyrim. Well, you can explain exactly. that to the professor. But, like, Mr. Paul Osama, how come you didn't do your homework? Well, you see, I was Osama. too busy. <laughs> I was too busy leveling up in Skyrim. And imagine his professor stops and he's like, what level are you, son? What the hell happened? Well, you left, Ralph. What do you think happened? Young money? You were banished by the young money community. <laughs> yeah, but... Paul's supposed <sighs> to be studying. And, and that's the thing about finals. Like, like I, I feel bad for those people who are like into like those giant, like, you know, uh, super hard classes like law... Or maybe something like, you know, uh, that involves medicine or whatnot. Because you're going to have to, like, oof. Oh, and Speaking of medicine, where, where's your brother? He's probably knocked out right now. Well, I would suggest for you to be a good brother. Go to your room, or go to his room. Just punch him in the face and wake him up. Can, can, can you do that for me? What is the matter with you? <laughs> what? what? You want me to die? Oh, because your brother would beat you up. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Yeah, well, not really, but... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Sean is so much, you know, physically superior to you in all aspects. I Yeah, right. He, he's a big dude, like 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, you know, just... Oh, he just super dragon fist you, and that'll be it, right? Yeah, you know? Yeah. Are, are you still playing Skyrim? No. Oh, what the hell God. is I'm, happening? I'm about, I'm about to play Ghosts again, even though I gave up on that game like about a week ago. Why aren't you playing so Battlefield 4 now? I did play, play Battlefield 4. Now. I was going to live stream earlier, but I completely forgot. I just got so sucked into the game. Because, you know, I'm such a professional pilot that I didn't want to, you know, show anybody my skills. Yeah, okay. Hell no. Alex Excuse is the most useful teammate ever. He just waits for the helicopters to appear, and then he crashes them into the ground. <laughs> that is not what? true. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's that, not. That's why the only that time I can truly play with Alex is on freaking Call of Duty, because he'll actually start doing something. Oh, okay. So so name one time I ever did that in Battlefield. Um, The <laughs> recent episodes I've recorded with you. Hmm, that's it? What was that? Yeah, also in Battlefield 3. Ooh. Me, Spencer, and Brandon were driving along in a buggy. Next thing we know, here comes an airplane out of nowhere. <laughs> Guess what it hit? <laughs> well, I mean, I try to make use of the uh, aerial vehicles the best way I can. You hit your own team. You didn't hit the enemy. You hit your own team. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't like you. That's what. <laughs> Ooh. And then another thing, me, Spencer, you, and I think it was AJ or Tyler were playing, and it was on Caspian Border. This man dive-bombed the helicopter with Spencer in it just to get on freaking uh, A and take out the people inside the building. He couldn't shoot. He just dive-bombed the thing. He just said, fuck this. Wow. Well, I mean, okay, that, that, that was a long time ago, okay? Things have changed. Not really. Things have not that changed. Is, you will still do it to this day. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Th- things have changed. <laughs> you know, you will still do <laughs> no, it. No, no. Th- th- things have changed. I- I've changed. No, they haven't. <laughs> yeah, I did. Well, Vern, you yeah. never even seen me play. That's how I did. When? When you live stream. Well, fuck you. That's what. <laughs> what about you, Paul? <laughs> exactly. I've seen you play on your live streams, man, and all I see is kamikazes. <laughs> see? We saw a helicopter land on you. Oh, God, did you see that part where the fucking guy, he landed right next to me and he got out, so I just took his (laughs) own chopper? 
Uh-huh. Well, well, well. You see, I actually make fair use of my aerial, you know, vehicles because you know they're, they're built for such things. I ain't making fair use. If you're gonna make fair use of them, learn to fly and shoot people. Well, it, can't damn, say, can't say a lot about Battlefield, not can we? I mean, I, I could definitely fly in GTA, but you know, no, battle- you can't. You can't even fly in GTA. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> that is not. It is so freaking true, Alex. Yeah, name name a time. It's so true. Okay, let's see here. I think it was in an Annihilator or the miniature helicopters. We were going to pick up Brandon, and this dude just literally laid the freaking helicopter down so hard it exploded. Okay, that, 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 that's enough from you now. That's hard. That's hard. And, and his father's chainsawing more squirrels outside. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine his dad has like a whole bunch of squirrels all tied up against trees? Yeah, it's like his I mean, tree. dude, squirrel does make some pretty good eating. That's disgusting. You what? Eat, you eat squirrels? Okay. You cannot say nothing, because I'm pretty sure you eat deer meat. I'm pretty Hell sure... Hell no, you I don't eat... eat I never I'm had pretty deer sure... Meat. That's some bullshit already. I, I never sure had deer meat. I mean, I'm pretty I'm, sure you ate McDonald's, Taco Bell... I, yes, and I, have. Stuff. I, I okay, have. Okay, that's cow meat. Chick-fil-A's cow meat. Okay. I'm pretty I, sure. I, I admit, yeah. I like chicken and cow, and cow beef. Same process that has to go through. You still have to skin them. You got to get all the bones out. You got to cut. But that. I haven't had no fucking Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer meat. That's Vern. We're not worried about him. Okay. <laughs> but I never had no deer meat. I'll tell you that much. Then you're missing out. You're I'm literally missing, missing out. out. The, how am I missing out? Deer meat is good. But fucking Paul ate goat before. That's Paul. <laughs> I don't know why he would eat goat. I remember I was right next. to I, I mean, I'm pretty sure Paul probably ate dog also. Probably his own cat. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, but, but, but that's the thing. Paul doesn't eat pussy, so... <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, but I swear to God, he ate, like, goat right next to me. <laughs> I was like, Paul, what's that? Is goat intestines? What the fuck? Nigga, we ate a squid. Get out of here. We. I... No, no, no. Ain't no we in this bitch. You ate a squid right in front of me, so. Wait, you did? <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't. Wow. No, I didn't. Wow. No, I did not. I mean, sushi's wow. good. Some sushi is good. And he's saying F the squid. Yeah, I, I, didn't <laughs> no, I didn't eat no fucking squid. I, I had it on video. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Prove it. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> so I, we're all doing I, I never yeah. ate such. Well,. Paul, on the other hand, I, we went to a buffet, right? And the first thing this guy goes for is fucking seafood. He's like, where are the squids? And it's just he just <laughs> piles them all up in his mouth. And I'm just like, that's disgusting. Like, you see okay, octopus tentacles so coming out of his nose. That's Paul boy. probably <laughs> went for the octopus or squid, and Alex probably went for the whale. So now let's wow. see where you get all that from. Yeah, he went up to the chef. Where's your whale? We, we don't sell whale. Where's your whale? <laughs> well, where's the whale meat? We, we, we don't sell the whale. He hands you his wife. <laughs> this kid was just gobbling up little mini squids in his mouth. I saw like a little fucking tentacle come out of his mouth. I was like, that's disgusting. And he's eating them like it was hot pockets. He was like, mm, mm, are you gonna eat that squid? Mm, mm. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Where did you learn this shit? The fuck, you've been playing too much Ratchet and Clank, bro. Wow. Too I thought much. they only eat freaking bolts. What? Well, that's the thing. Paul eats anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if somebody put some barbecue sauce on a fucking bolt. Here you go. He starts <laughs> chewing and snapping his teeth. And just, it was disgusting. And, and then he ate goat intestines right next to me. I was just like, look, 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 look. And then they wanted me to try it. I tried just a little tiny bit. And I was like, Bleh. like I felt like I was going to fucking mutate. So I guess that's the place that we gotta go. Is we gotta go to a uh, seafood restaurant. Now, this, all right. This kid, instead of eating normal stuff, he would eat like all of the abnormal stuff. Like one time, he was like, "You're gonna eat that shoe." <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You want that boot? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> We're eating pizza. Hey, Alex, you can eat that shoe. <laughs> like no, Paul, you can have the fucking shoe. Here, you can have the shoe. I don't want it. Paul's going to turn into the Grinch and just, like, eat glass. Just break a beer bottle and just start eating it. I swear, man. And then, like, we go to the movies. I get him popcorn. He's not even done, and we're done with our bucket in less than, like, whoa, I, right, right right, before the movie even started. You okay. done with that cardboard? Yeah, you, you, you done with that cardboard? What? What do you mean? It has butter on it. And see, <laughs> buttered cardboard actually is good for the body. Yeah. Processes very well. 
Not to mention the fact that he cried during Thor 2. I ain't oh, what a bitch. He put his head in the bucket. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> No, that was probably something else down there, Alex. You know, they have a little hole down there for something special. Aw. Uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you gonna eat that wiener? <laughs> That's not food, man. <laughs> Your dad is still chainsawing squirrels. <laughs> yes, he's still yeah, chainsawing squirrels. Like, I, I want everybody in here right now to envision uh, a middle-aged man with a giant white beard with a chainsaw being jumped by, like, hundreds of millions of squirrels as they're piling up on him as he's swinging that chainsaw. Yeah, fuck you, squirrel. It, it, it's, it's, like, it's like Evil Dead except with squirrels. In the yeah, world of guessing. young money, there can only be yeah. one survivor. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and who's the survivor? Young money, of course, you retard. You you really need to stop with the young money shit. Two thousand and thirteen's been. You know, honestly, Paul could probably be a, like a commentator of some freaking book or movie or some shit just with a that book? one voice right there. A, a book? Yes, a, a book. Every one of his sentences. He can narrate a book, man. He can narrate a book. Every one of his sentences would end with, "So the woman turns on and said, young money,' and then the young money <laughs> proceeds to walk down the street. So the young money then proceeds like. Hang on, Paul. Paul, use your com- use that voice real quick and just talk for a little bit. Alex, you're Talk just a jealous point. bitch in a theater near you. Ooh, damn. In a world where Paul has no shoes, stranded in a desert with a Little Wayne CD, finds out how he survives. Paul, Little Wayne, Rob Schneider, and a stapler in Young Money. Coming 2000 Never. <laughs> that would be a great film. A, fucking, <laughs> a packy, a stapler, Rob Schneider, and Little Wayne. A packy, a stapler. Oh yeah, I forgot he has a packy, ain't he? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Fuck you guys. In a theater near you, Alex goes outside to Taco Bell. Little did he know that Lil Wayne was having a giveaway for the PlayStation Four. He then proceeded to bow down and suck his ass. <laughs> okay, okay. Coming in a theater near you. Watch when Paul enters a club and sees women, but then goes AFK. Find out what happens next. On the next episode of Dragon Ball, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, hang on. He went on AFK? Paul, what the fuck no, do you do on your weekends? That's Oh, he goes AFK on weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul sees women or money or something. He just goes AFK. Comes back like the following day. Hey, Paul. What happened, man? Listen here. I do not go AFK. Unlike you from South Park, I'm not going to go bang Lisa McFry... Fryberg, whatever her name was. Who the Lisa hell is Lisa McFryberger? Whatever that, that chick's name was, Miss McBurger? I don't know what her name Ooh, was. Who the fuck? Who the fuck banged Lisa McFryberger? Whatever that chick that like butter's names was. I forgot her name. Sounds like Anyways. some kind of random freaking Futurama character. Right? Lisa <laughs> McFryberger. Oh, I bet you he just came out of, out of his ass. Lisa McFryberger. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Sh- they should add Paul in a video game. That way, like he could be a, like a, one of those AFK assholes. He can just pop in the head whenever you want. Wow! Beat him with a crowbar. Paul would yeah. probably be there. For, like if they ever did put Paul in a game, he would be there for like one scene and just be gone. Oh, what about you? You'd, you'd be the crazy fucking hick in the forest chopping sure. squirrels up for meat. In a world where you have an AFK, a crazy hick in the forest, and the village idiot. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Why do you have to talk bad about golf like that? Yes. <laughs> yes. And he acknowledges it too. Wow. I didn't Way to go, Vern. Good game, Vern. What? And Rolf. I just want to ask something. Yes. Does <laughs> anyone know when we can rob banks on GTA Online? Next year. <laughs> Coming next console. Never. Next console. Yeah. Oh my. No, it, it's not next fall. No, I said next console. Oh, I thought oh, I, I th- you said next fall. I was going to say, ain't nobody going to wait that long, man, to rob a stupid bank on GTA. Not uh, for real. I thought that was coming on day one. But that- it was. That's what they said. Well, ha- have you not one. seen day one? What happened on day one? Yeah, oh my God. I, I wanted know. to cry on day one. <laughs> hey Paul, Paul. Like each update that comes out, they just had a recent one which in do, introduced a content creator beta, the beta form of it now. But like each update, they're like, "Yes, the highest you're coming this update," and they never come. That's some shit. Well, ain't that a surprise? I mean, then again, 
even a bigger surprise would be what happened if we all jumped out of that plane onto Godzilla, you know? Yeah. Just saying, they did say that the next update for GTA 5 should be the highest and a single-player DLC, so... Ooh. Well, yeah, I heard about that, but I, I still want to do, like, the big heists. That's what I want to do. I was looking forward to doing that day one of GTA 5 multiplayer. We all did, and then guess what? We all ended up beating each other with bottles and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the thing about GTA that. Online, it's not even the missions that are fun. It's just the retardedness with your friends. Well, uh, Alex, we, we've I'm glad you're not on there anymore. I'd be stabbing you with a beer bottle, with a broken who, who beer bottle. Who the fuck yeah, was that following yeah, us the whole time? Was it time. Stellinator? Uh, no, it wasn't Stellinator. It was, um, uh... I want to say Dallas. Yeah, it was Dallas. He kept following us. Beating our game. <laughs> Ran me over in an 18 wheeler several times we, too. We, we, we kept beating him. Like we, I remember somebody, sh- somebody shot him and his body I rolled did. on into the sewer. I did. Good time. Fucking Good somebody time. shot him and his body rolled on into the sewer. I shot him. Funny. I shot him with a shotgun. And close then one time, I remember body. he was just standing there, and somebody like just derailed him with a bus. I was just like, oh my god. I don't know who did that one now. It was it was amazing, and then we all beat him up in that alley. Remember when we jumped him? Yeah, and then I pulled out a bat and just <laughs> shit out of him. <laughs> I'm about to get on that game in a little bit. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that has been it for this week's podcast. Everybody, I hope you all enjoyed. This has been the Cobblers Game and Notorious Blaze Vern three man broadcast left off. So I hope you all enjoy, everybody. Uh, if you guys are fans, make sure you guys subscribe for all latest news, information, updates. Comment in the comment section below, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. We'll be seeing you all in the next episode. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, money. Uh, money. Paul still goes AFK. I'm going to kill Paul.